Ted Bundy, a name that evokes both charm and terror, a duality that puzzled and horrified a nation. Known as one of America's most notorious serial killers, Bundy's polished charm and keen intelligence masked a dark side few could imagine. He was adept at manipulating those around him, using his sociable demeanor to disarm and deceive. Bundy's horrific acts stand in stark contrast to his outward persona, posing the chilling question, how could a man so engaging be a cold-blooded killer? Let's uncover the story of Ted Bundy. Born into a world of confusion and secrets, Ted Bundy's early life was a complex web of lies. Raised by his grandparents in Burlington, Vermont, Bundy was led to believe his mother was his sister, to hide the truth of his illegitimacy. Excelling academically in high school and later at university, he struggled socially and harbored a growing interest in macabre subjects. These early years marked the beginning of a facade, as Bundy's darker inclinations brewed beneath a surface of scholarly success and charismatic charm. From a young age, Bundy exhibited troubling behaviors, hidden beneath a veneer of normalcy. Bundy's charm was his weapon, his approach as calculated as it was cruel. With a disarming smile and a strategic limp, Ted Bundy preyed upon the sympathy and trust of young women. He often approached his potential victims in crowded public places, presenting himself as a figure in need, sometimes wearing a cast or carrying crutches. Alternatively, he impersonated authority figures, such as a police officer or a firefighter, to create a facade of safety and responsibility. Once he had gained their trust, the facade fell away, revealing the monster beneath. Bundy would overpower his victims, using blunt objects to incapacitate them before abducting them to secluded locations. What followed was a horrifying sequence of assault and unimaginable cruelty. His gruesome acts extended beyond murder. Bundy engaged in necrophilia, returning to visit the corpses at the dumping sites, further violating them. His methodical approach allowed him to evade detection, leaving a trail of sorrow in his wake. Throughout the 1970s, Ted Bundy cast a shadow of fear across the United States. As he moved stealthily from Washington to Oregon, Utah, Colorado, and eventually Florida, Bundy left a chilling trail of violence and despair. His killing spree, which began in the early 70s, saw the brutal loss of numerous young women. Each shared hauntingly similar traits. Predominantly long brown hair and an academic background, making it clear Bundy had a specific type. Bundy's handsome features and magnetic personality were his deadliest weapons. He masqueraded as a law student, a police officer, even a fire department volunteer, exploiting these disguises to gain the trust of his unsuspecting victims. This enabled him to operate under the radar, with law enforcement struggling to connect the dots between his crimes spread across different jurisdictions. As bodies piled up, the mystery deepened. Who was the charismatic killer? It was only a matter of time before Bundy's luck would run out. Initially captured in 1975 in Utah, Bundy's arrest for evading a police officer barely scratched the surface of his heinous activities. However, the true extent of his brutality was yet to be uncovered. As the authorities pieced together the puzzle, Bundy was not content to sit idle. In a startling display of audacity, he escaped from a Colorado courthouse in 1977 by jumping from a second-story window. Free but desperate, he vanished into the mountains, surviving a week before capture. Yet, Bundy's cunning was far from exhausted. In December of the same year, he executed a second escape. This time, from a Colorado prison, exploiting a floor in the jail's security to climb through the ceiling. While free, Bundy traveled to Florida, where his violence escalated, resulting in more abductions and murders, including the infamous Chi Omega sorority house attack. Each escape only delayed the inevitable, as justice was slowly catching up to Bundy. In the courtroom and beyond, Bundy remained a figure of macabre fascination. As the trials unfolded, Ted Bundy's audacious decision to represent himself captured the nation's attention. His courtroom demeanor was a blend of eerie charm and unsettling confidence. Cameras rolled, capturing every moment of the spectacle, turning the legal proceedings into a media frenzy. The trials held in Florida were a dramatic affair, 
Bundy, leveraging his law school experience, engaged in legal sparring that both fascinated and horrified onlookers. Despite his efforts, the evidence was overwhelming. Bundy was convicted of multiple counts of murder, with the jury recommending the death penalty. The judge echoed this sentiment, sentencing him to death for his heinous crimes. As the date of his execution approached, the public and media were fixated on every detail, discussing the implications of his crimes and the nature of evil itself. Finally, on January 24, 1989, Ted Bundy was executed in the electric chair at Florida State Prison. Ted Bundy's execution marked the end of his life, but not the end of his impact on criminal psychology and law enforcement. Decades later, the name Ted Bundy still sends shivers down the spine. His heinous acts reshaped how law enforcement approaches the profiling of serial killers, emphasizing the importance of psychological insights alongside physical evidence. Bundy's case also stoked a broader societal intrigue, contributing significantly to the cultural obsession with true crime. His blend of intelligence, charm and brutality continues to challenge our understanding of human nature, prompting ongoing debates and studies in criminal psychology, Ted Bundy's story is a harrowing reminder of the complex interplay between appearance and reality, and the darkness that can lurk beneath a charming facade.